Today is November 18th, 2021. And the Father tells us to look up. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. In earth, as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debt as we forgive our debt to us. Forgive us our trespass as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. This is the sky of Nassau, Bahamas. These are the skies of Nassau, Bahamas. And now I go back and continue the work the Father has given me, my daily bread for this day. And here we have Revival number 587, New Jersey, USA. The curse will not prevail. And this is um, Revival Tour, a prophecy, healing, and deliverance Revival Tour. Apostle Edison and Prophetess Mardi Norwich. Now you notice a light over there. That light from that window that is coming from outside. That is coming from outside on the opposite side of the room into the TV. On the opposite side. And you see a light like blinking in there. That is part of that light. Jesus Christ, light of the world. Now... These people say they are on a revival tour. That's not true. That's not true. They are running from the prophecy of Ezekiel 13. They are running and trying to run away from God from this prophecy. As I speak, this light, you don't see the light get brighter? Over there, they're running like Jonah when Jonah did not want to go to where God sent him and he ran and gone in a different direction. Well, these people are quite aware of what they're doing. I asked God, I said, God, can this woman know what she's doing? Does she know what she's doing? I'm going to show you where he gave me the answer saying that she knows exactly what she's doing because she's saying a prayer a written prayer to God asking for to cleanse her from her wickedness and her unrighteousness. I'm going to, I hope I remember to include that prayer inside here. Okay, let's hear a little bit what she, they have to say about this Torah. It's impossible to run from God. Every written word, every spoken word must and will come to pass in Ezekiel 13. This prophecy, she, these people here fulfilled the prophecy. They have fulfilled that prophecy.
tonight. Oh, I'm gonna lift your chair. I'm gonna take your chair. And I'm gonna give your chair to somebody that's desperate tonight. That's asking God to make a spot for them. This is the first lie that she is false. First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 34. Let your women keep silent in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience. As also said the Lord, they are what? Commanded. They are commanded. You all could read from 34 to 36. Okay? And this is Isaiah chapter 3, verse 11. Woe unto the wicked. It shall be ill with him for the rewards of his hand. The rewards of what? His hands. She always using her hands to do everything. His hand shall be given him. Twelve. People, God keeps speaking and speaking his word. If you all will pay attention. Twelve. As for my people, children are their oppressors. In the other day, she bring a grandson in to teach all, to teach all children. <laughs> and women rule over them. Oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy path. You hear that? Who destroyed the way? And this is saying, outpouring of healing miracles never seen before. Let's see what God says about that. Let's go to God's word for that. BFMI Super Kingdom Kids Revival with Apostle Edison. God is not Mark Matty Nordage and Edison Nordage. God is not Mark. You cannot teach your grandchildren or anybody's child, the kingdom of God. Only the Holy Spirit teaches us. Jesus said, he will send back the Holy Spirit who will teach you all things, all truth. You don't own no kingdom to be able to pass it on to your grandchildren. It's wicked and it's evil. And you tell these children and one of your servants, that children will go to hell. Why would you tell them such a lie like that? When Jesus said, suffer the little children to come unto me, for such is the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is made up of children. Why would you tell these people such lies? What do it? Pray he must do it. He must do it. He, see what this woman teaching the children? If I pray anything, he must do it. He must do it. 
Why would you teach these children such horrible things? Why? If I pray in... You see the window over there? You see the window? It's amazing how this woman will dedicate these children. She have dedicated them to Satan. Her own grandchildren, along with other people's children. This is not from the spirit of the living God, not the God that I serve and the God that I worship. She is training them from her knowledge, from the kingdom of Satan and what Satan has taught her, what the demons have taught her. And now she passing it on to the children, to her grandchildren. She teach you all and tell you all all sorts of stuff. And she and she doing she doing the same thing. What she's telling you all not to do. Anyhow, listen. This is she the boy emulating his grandmother. The boy is emulating his grandmother. That's and his grandfather. That's what they're doing, emulating. You do not play with the Holy Spirit. Whoa, want to you, Maddie Nordage? Whoa. At noon, at noon, when I pray and cry aloud. Tri City Miracle Healing and Deliverance Revival Tour. Let's see a little piece of what this here I have to say. They're running. From the wrath and the vengeance of Almighty God spoken about in Ezekiel 13. But you can't run from God. It's impossible. You see this light in the back here? You see that light? That is coming directly from heaven. See the light? Oh, I Ten years. And I finally said, that's it. No more doctors. The Lord has to heal me. He's coming from New Jersey. We expecting a mighty move of God deliver. Yes, the Lord heals, and by the stripes of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the one whose blood was shed for you, the one whose body was broken, the one whose side was pierced, the one who hung on a cross and died, the one who rose from the dead and who is alive and who has come to fulfill the laws of the prophets. Not Maddie Norwich or no man 
that stand in the front of you and tell you that they could heal you and they could deliver you, they don't know that God has given a new covenant and is no longer any need for any man to teach you the kingdom of God. Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 31 to 34 tells us that he is going to put his law in our inward parts and write it on our hearts. Um, and like I said earlier, these people are liars. They are liars. They lie on God. They lie on God. And this is the prophecy that Maddie Norwich and Apostle Norwich is running away from. This is the prophecy of Ezekiel 13. Ezekiel chapter 13 and the word of the Chapter 13 And the word of the Lord came unto me saying Son of man Prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy and say, Thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the deserts. Ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. They have seen vanity and blind divination, saying, The Lord saith, and the Lord hath not sent them. And they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. Have ye not seen a vain vision, and have ye not spoken a lying divination, whereas ye say, The Lord saith it, albeit I have not spoken? Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Because ye have spoken vanity, and seen lies, therefore behold, I am against you, saith the Lord God. And mine hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity, and that divine lies. The assembly of my people, neither shall they be written in the writing of the house of Israel, neither shall they enter into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord God. Because even because they have seduced my people, saying, Peace, and there was no peace. And one built up a wall, and lo, others daubed it with untempered mortar. Say unto them which daub it with untempered mortar, that it shall fall. There shall be an overflowing shower, and ye, O great hailstones, shall fall, and a stormy wind shall rend it. Lo, when the wall is fallen, shall it not be said unto you, where is the daubing wherewith ye have daubed it? Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I will even rend it with a stormy wind in my fury, and there shall be an overflowing shower in mine anger, and great hailstones in my fury to consume it. So will I break down the wall that ye have daubed with untempered mortar, and bring it down to the ground, so that the foundation thereof shall be discovered, and it shall fall, and ye shall be consumed in the midst thereof, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Thus will I accomplish my wrath upon the wall, and upon them that have daubed it with untempered mortar, and will say unto you, The wall is no more, neither they that daubed it. To wit, the prophets of Israel, which prophesy concerning Jerusalem, and which see visions of peace for her, and there is no peace, saith the Lord God. Likewise, thou son of man, set thy face against the daughters of thy people, which prophesy out of their own heart, and prophesy thou against them, and say, Thus saith the Lord God, Woe to the women that sew pillows to all armholes, and make kerchiefs upon the head of every statue to hunt souls. Will ye hunt the souls of my people? And will ye save the souls alive that come unto you? And will ye pollute me among my people for handfuls of barley and for pieces of bread to slay the souls that should not die? and to save the souls alive that should not live by your lying to my people that hear your lies. Wherefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against your pillows, 
wherewith ye there hunt the souls to make them fly, and I will tear them from your arms, and will let the souls go, even the souls that ye hunt to make them fly. Your kerchiefs also will I tear, and deliver my people out of your hand, and they shall be no more in your hand to be hunted, and ye shall know that I am the Lord, because with lies ye have made the heart of the righteous sad, whom I have not made sad, and strengthened the hands of the wicked, that he should not return from his wicked way by promising him life. Therefore ye shall see no more vanity, nor divine divinations, for I will deliver my people out of your hand, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Did you hear that? They are running because they built our wall in Nassau. They are running. They say they are on a tour, but they are running from the vengeance and the wrath of Almighty God upon them. That's what they're doing. They're running. Do you know you can't run from God? Do you know you cannot run from God? There's no hiding place. There's no hiding place. That's why they're doing that tour. That's why they're doing that tour. Because none of them has taken the, the job. And if they leave the United States, they can't end up back in because they have not taken the job, so they say. So to end up back in, they have to go through regulations. See, as I do nothing of my own. I say nothing of my own. I do what the Father tells me. Now I come back outside and His Word has gone forth. I give you the Word. They are, they are not there. They've done all sorts of wicked and evilness and take and steal from the poor. Kill, steal, and destroy. I do nothing of my own. I do what the Father tells me to do. When he call me, I, na I answer. And he show you in his scripture from day one. From day one he said, women are, not suppo women are supposed to remain silent in the churches. Who y'all gonna believe? Who are y'all going to believe? Y'all gonna read God's word, believe it and do it? That's what I did. I got from that establishment. I buy them pillars. He hear Ezekiel talk about the pillars. She sell them pillars for 50 and must be 70 some dollars. The wall, she have innocent children going out there, pray them. These people have dedicated your children and y'all to Satan. How you think she can get these riches and stuff? She have to keep paying Satan and getting people to come against God. That's how she get these riches and stuff. God say, in order, Jesus say to follow me, you must sell everything. What the woman do? And then she telling you all these lies. God don't have no plane in heaven. God don't deal with no filthy lucre, filthy money. God don't deal with nothing from the filter of the filthy hands of men. Remember that, nothing. How dare you? Mighty knowledge and the rest of y'all. Y'all can see something y'all never, ever, ever seen ever on this earth before. Never. All of y'all lies. Every prophet out there is a liar. The last prophet was John the Baptist until Jesus. The last prophet was John the Baptist. Everyone who calling themselves as a prophet is a liar. Let me show it to you. Woman says she's follow her every day. She don't put it down. Because I follow her every, every day. Not every Jesus. Day, I just don't put it down. Not Jesus. <laughs> every day, and then my life has changed tremendously. Not Jesus. And then that's why we decided to come in. Because I feel like so much is going on in my life. And I know that I'm the child of God. Roanoke, Virginia. New Jersey. And Atlanta, Georgia, are you ready? 
the highly anticipated Miracle Healing and Deliverance Revival Tour 2021 is coming your way. Join God's man of faith and power, Apostle Edison Nottage, and God's daughter of fire and supernatural woman, Prophetess Dr. Maddie Nottage. Miracles will happen if you believe. Breakthrough will happen if you believe. Your life will happen. We're trying to get your prayers going up. From up under the curse. From up under the devil's grip. Divine breakthrough. And this is what God say about these prophets, every last one of them. Listen, 1 Kings chapter 21, so, sorry, 1 Kings chapter 22, that's 1 Kings chapter 22, verse 21. And there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him, 22. And the Lord said unto him, wherein? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, thou shalt persuade him and prevail. Also go forth and do so. 23. Now, therefore, behold, the Lord had put a lying spirit in the mouths of all these thy prophets. And the Lord had spoken evil concerning them. Who spoke evil concerning them? The Lord. He said all. First Kings chapter. First Kings chapter 21. Verse. First Kings chapter 22. Verse 21 to 23. First Kings chapter 21. Sorry. First Kings chapter 22. Starting at verse 21. Read it for yourself. It's impossible for you to lie on God. And you shouldn't even want to do that. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 1. God at sundry times and in diverse manner spake in the past unto the fathers by the prophets. When? In time past. 2. Have in these last days spoken unto us by his son whom he had appointed heir over all things by whom also he made the world three who being the brightness of his glory an express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sins sat down on the right hand of his majesty on high. You hear that? You hear that, people? You all better stop listening and following these people. Here in, in Matthew chapter 11, verse 11 tells us that John the Baptist was the last prophet until Jesus. Verily, ver verily, I say unto you, among them that are born of women, there had not risen a greater than John the Baptist, notwithstanding he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. 12. And from that day, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violence take it by force. 13. For all the prophets and uh, for all the prophets and the law prophesied until John fourteen, and if he will receive it, this is Elias which was for to come. He that had ear to hear, let him hear. And this is a this is a warning that Mary Nori sent me. She tell you all to bring your prayer request to her. And she'll take it to the high courts of God. And here it is. When I gave her the prophecy, she sent me. This is what she sent me. This letter. See, it says Pandora Store. That's me. From Apostle Edison and Prophetess Maddie Nordich. This woman is a dangerous woman. This woman is a dangerous woman. And she says she's sending you all things to the high court. And she take and she bring minds. Send me to the local state and warn me 
the, the she would send me to the local court March the 24th of March 2020 but I received this I received this on the 26th you see the light of Jesus come inside there I received this on the 26th not on the 24th she was done on the 24th but I had the police brought this to my house on the 26th see the light you all see the light coming inside there on it? Jesus Christ, light of the world. I can't tell you what's going to happen. See? This light is coming from outside. I'll show you and take you and show you where this is coming from. See it there? See where the light is coming from through the window? That's where that light is coming from. That's where the light is coming from. That's where that light is coming from from outside. That's where that light is coming from. where the light is coming from I have nothing against these people I'm only doing the will of my father who sent me her father Satan who sent her she was doing the will of him I do the one of my heavenly father that sent me this is I'm inside my kitchen recording Jesus Christ light of the world see it for yourself Either you can believe God and do the will of God, or you can believe these false prophets, let them rob, kill, steal, and destroy from you. It's only one way to the Father, and that's through His Son, His only begotten Son. And like I said in the beginning of this video, they are running from the wrath and the judgment of God from the prophecy of Ezekiel 13. That's what they're doing. They're telling you all these lies. They're running from God's vengeance and wrath upon them. See the light of Jesus in the back there? There's some dangerous people. If you all really get to let God see you, show you all who they are. This is a light from the bathroom window. This is from the bathroom window. Look at, look at this other one. What are you doing? Blaspheme in the name of God. Benny Hinn, Historic Crusade, Atlanta, 2010. Honey, let me show you what God said about this. You can read this, and this is um, Malachi chapter 2. Um, I'm just going to read the first one or two verses. Malachi chapter 2, verse 1. And now, O ye priests, this commandment is for you. If ye will not hear... And if he will not lay it to heart to give glory unto my name, said the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you, and I will curse your blessings. Yea, I have cursed them already, because he do not lay it to heart. Hear that? See that light coming through the window? Revelations chapter 19. We're starting at verse 15. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he threaded the winepress of the furnaces, and with wrath of Almighty God. 16. And he had on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of King and Lord of Lords. 17. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come, gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God. 18. That he may 
eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains and the flesh of mighty men and the flesh of horses and the and of them that sit it on them and the flesh of all men both free and born both small and great 19 and i saw the beasts and the kings of the earth and their armies to gather gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army that is all of these false prophets and false teachers they gather together and come against their creator that's what that is and the children and the people of god 20 and the beast was taken and with him the false prophet who was with him the false prophet and which false prophet that that wrought miracles only this woman and these people doing these miracles she stands out by herself along with some others but this one is speak, speak, specifically speaking i can read that again and the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that brought miracles before him with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worship his image she is the image of the beast and y'all who worship him ha huh. these both were cast alive into a lake of burning fire with brimstone psalms 53 the fool had said in his heart there is no god corrupt are they and have done abominable thing in iniquity there is none that do it good there is none that do it good good god looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand that did seek god every one of them is gone back they are altogether become filthy there is none that do it good no not one have the workers of iniquity no knowledge who eat up my people see all them people there they eat up as they eat bread they have not called upon god there were they in great fear where no fear was the people who spent all these stupidness they be teaching they have people in fear of them woe be unto you all fail for god has scattered the bones of him that encamped against thee thou hast put them in to shame because god had despised them here's the next one who's be doing them um, um miracles official a m i t t v 24 7 live pastor al fluka boy if the world can see one thing this is never seen before God's anointed briefcase. What type of blasphemy is this? What kind of blasphemy? Revival 586, Renault Cove, Virginia, USA, Miracle and Healing. God's miracles, his prophets and the supernatural cake. What kind of mess is this? Supernatural cake. God does not do anything from made from the filthy hands of, of men, Mary Nordich. So many people are going oh, This is what I was looking for. Revival fire, fire continues in New Jersey. See that bright light over there? Yeah. Just landed in our beautiful city. We came for a mighty move of God. Oh my God, after last night, we expected an even greater outpouring. 